we're going to be plasma cutting with the Forney Easy Weld 20P plasma cutter. This machine can cut up to a quarter inch and sever cut a 3 8 material. Today we're just going to be cutting some 16 gauge. We have a little flower here that we can cut out. The machine itself, I'm just going to have it set to 20. Uh, typically when it comes to plasma cutting, unless you're using a real thin material and your cut really needs to be precise, you can use full amperage on this machine. It's not really that big of a deal. A uh, couple things to remember when you're plasma cutting is that this is a contact torch, so uh, drag tip tor technology. So you do actually have to start the arc off of the edge of the material and then after it gets going, bring it onto the material and actually make contact with the tip of your plasma torch when you're cutting. So we're going to use a shade 5 face shield to protect our eyes. Also, uh, we have our air source coming in here. All you need for this machine to actually run is you need one and a half CFM at 90 PSI. So it doesn't take a whole lot, just a small size compressor that is rated at that PSI is perfectly fine. Um, pretty much anything that you may already have in your garage. It also runs off of 120 volts. So as long as you have, say, a 15 to 20 amp breaker, you should be able to cut pretty far with this machine before uh, any kind of issues with blowing a break or anything is going to happen. If you're cutting a whole lot or really long periods of time, you may want to make sure that you have a 30 amp breaker just so that way you don't have to worry about resetting your breakers or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to cut this flower out here. obviously forgot is the ground. So you do have to connect your ground. It got tripped up with all these other ones over here. So. Alright, so now that we have a ground, we can go ahead and get this flower up. So if you're cutting and you see that your machine shuts off within a couple of seconds, and you know you're making contact, uh, you're probably missing your ground. So that does complete the circuit, so you do need that to actually be able to continue to cut. Straight down uh, through the other side of your material. 